Hey, so this is an English-built tractor. This is a Saunderson, uh, which was later bought out by Crosley, uh, which a lot of you will recognize, uh, famous for their Crosley engines. Uh, really unique design on the tractor. Um, this is a two-cylinder uh, Model G. They call this the Universal. And uh, these were built from, I believe, around 1918 to 1922, something like that. Actually, a, a fairly successful tractor. Uh, in England, uh, built right after World War I. Then Crosley bought Saunderson out in 1922, I believe. Uh, really unique design uh, with the radiator set back uh, from the front axle. One of the neat advertising aspects on this was instead of stating in the sales literature what the capacity of the fuel tank was, they just listed it as uh, capacity for half day's work, <laughs> which I thought was kind of unique. Uh, really different operator's platform where most gear shift levers come straight at you. These are off to the side, uh, which is a neat configuration. Still has a lot of original paint on this tractor. It has been touched up over the years, but a really good example of a nice original Saunderson Model G. This is such a cool piece. Uh, this actually came from Europe uh, and was shipped over here to our pre-30 auction. And uh, this is a, a Malo saw rig. Uh, Malo is a French company. And originally, um, most Malos are still set up in the original configuration. And in place of this seat would be a large bandsaw. Uh, had a large casting with, with of course, bandsaw blade running. Uh, and basically what this was, was a self-propelled wood cutting outfit, which um, the, the owner could take up and down the streets. Uh, he'd stop in front of your house, uh, get your firewood, cut it up into kindling for you, and, and make you a kindling basket, or he probably sold some firewood at the same time. But that's, that was the purpose, and that was the design of this. Um, and this is set up in a, in, in a it's called a vis-a-vis -vis configuration, which was the, uh, the French, uh, that was a French name uh, for facing each other. Uh, so you could, uh, you could take your girlfriend for a ride and, uh, and go out and, and cruise the town in, in, in such an animal. This, this uses a Malo one-cylinder uh, hit-miss engine. Uh, it's got a very unique radiator on it, which we'll show you, and it's just such a cool piece. It's, it's really neat. Um, it actually will get up and go. It, it's got some speed to it and uh, uh, would be such a, such a cool thing to be running around at a tractor show. I'm a fan of European tractors because I think the, the designs are so unique. Uh, this brass uh, tank is actually the radiator for this little one-cylinder engine. Still has the uh, original French tag on it where it was uh, made somewhere around the Seine River. Uh, on the other end, there's a small plaque uh, telling where this, uh, this tractor came from, and it came from a collection in the Dijon district of uh, France, which, of course, we, we like that because that's Dijon mustard. So uh, who doesn't like that on a hamburger? Uh, the design on this is, is just so, it's, it's a mixture of simplicity and elegance. Uh, that's, that's the way I always, I always look at this. Um, it's just primitive enough, but just elegant enough to be really, really neat.